a very good morning students today we will rule we will study our next rule and the next rule is cross multiplication method earlier we studied the rule of transposition to solve the linear equation in one variable rule of transposing means you are shifting one side to another side means you are shifting plus to minus minus to plus and multiplication to division or division to multiplication now there is another rule and that rule is cross multiplication method cross multiplication cross means the name is suggesting the symbol for cross is this this symbol for cross you are using cross multiplying means you are multiplying these two terms and you are multiplying these two terms from the name itself we can conclude that you are cross multiplying the terms in the same manner now we are applying the cross multiplication method for our linear equations so linear equation the general form for cross multiplication method must be like there must be equation in numerator a linear equation in one variable must be in numerator similarly the linear equation in one variable must be in denominator and in right hand side there must be only constant there must be only constant term no variable term must be there so how you will solve these type of equations using cross multiplication method you will cross multiply the terms you will cross multiply it means if i have a number here like for k like for general i am taking 3x plus 2 upon 5x plus 1 is equal to 1 by 3 or 2 by 3 now according to cross multiplication you will cross multiply means you will multiply these two terms and similarly you will multiply these two terms so it will give you 3 is multiplied by 3x plus 2 it is equal to 2 multiplied by 5x plus 1 and now you can solve this equation with the help of rule of transposing which i told you earlier how you will solve 3 3 is a 9x plus 3 2 is a 6 it is equal to 2 multiply 5 is 10x plus 2 and it will give you 6 Minus two because two will come here with minus sign, ten x minus nine x, and finally it will give you x is equal to four. So this is our method, the cross multiplication method. Now I am taking the sixth question of your exercise two point two. This is the sixth question of exercise two point two, and this question says that. 5y minus 2 upon in denominator 4 multiply by y plus 3 it is equal to 1 by 3. How you will solve this? You will solve. You will write solution here, and you will solve this first. 5y minus 2 as it is upon. Now you will simplify the denominator part. So 4 multiply by 4y plus 4 threes are 12, and finally it will give you. 1 by 3 now you will read you will sorry write that apply you will write that apply cross multiplication cross multiplication method you will write the statement and then you will proceed as Five by minus two upon four by plus twelve is equal to one by three, and you are applying the cross multiplication method. It means you have to cross multiply the term. So it will give you three multiply by five by minus two is equal to one multiply by four by plus twelve, and after simplification, it will give you. 15y you will write the imply sign here because from this step you are moving to the next step so 15y minus 3 to the 6 is equal to 4y plus 
Now 15y it implies 15y minus 4y is equal to 12 and this 6 will become positive. So it will imply 15 minus 4 is 11y is equal to 12 plus 6 is 18. So finally you will get the value of y is 11y is equal to 18 and it implies y is equal to 18 by 11. So this is your solution of the given equation by cross multiply method.